Hey guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and this is a 1977 Baldwin R. It measures 5 feet 7 inches from the very back of the piano to the very front of the piano, and it's in this nice satin, hand-rubbed um, finish. Now, satin is actually sprayed high-gloss black to begin with, and then we rub it out with steel wool to make it flat, and that's what all these satin pianos are, typically. Um, so all those pianos you see on the stage, Steinways, Masons, Baldwins, Kanabis, Chickerings, even Kawhi and Yamaha, they're hand-rubbed. So, so wait, you look, you still look like this? Yeah, and it's rubbed out. But they would do that in the factory and instantly rub it out like this in the factory. So you would never see it like that, but that is how it starts, is like this. And then it ends up like this. And the beauty of that is, is that when you chip it or damage it, it's a lot easier to fix. So we've done a lot of rubbing out on this piano, rubbed out a lot of scratches. We still have some chips here on the fall board a little bit and on the bench as well. But in general, the piano is really clean. Um, and it is a handmade American-made piano. So um, this is something that you would rebuild. So if you're looking at something that you would want to get into and have kind of an heirloom that you pass down for generations and generations and the, every generation would rebuild it and keep it in the family, but you also don't want to spend big Steinway money, this is a great option for you. Um, so I'm going to play this for you guys. If you have any questions about this particular piano, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. I love talking shop. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome piano related videos. I'm going to play this though, and what I want you to listen for is the fact that it's a, Baldwin's chip typically have a really punchy, bright, powerful sound. Um, we relate them a lot of times to like muscle cars. There's a lot of power on that front end. Um, it's right on the tips of your finger, and that's why you see a lot of these in um, church settings or on stages, because they carry, they're loud, they're punchy. So if you have a room that's carpet, you know, drapes, chairs, all this stuff, it's a great piano for that because it's going to be really loud and powerful. But if you have a room that's all tile, open floor plan, big tall ceilings and just empty, in other words, a really live room where you clap and go, Poof, this probably isn't the best piano for you. So I'll play this one for you guys. If you have any questions, like I said, always shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys. So up here I have a lot of that kind of knuckly or um, punchy tones, very bell-like in the treble. And down here in the bass I have a ton of power. So that's a powerhouse of a piano. Again, think muscle car, it's just right on the tips of your fingers. really light it's a lot easier to play than say you know a Steinway that has a heavier down weight um, so this is a great a great option if you're looking for a handmade heirloom type piano thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome piano related videos